Here we go, guys. We could reset the market on an H2, trying to get to 34,000. We're going to try to do something really special, Cycle Drag. Take a look at this. We're going to try to break a world record. This is the 1972 Kawasaki H2 750 Widowmaker. May be the finest in the world. May set a new world record today. We just talked to Nori, the legendary builder from Southern California, and he's hoping he can eclipse $34,000 on this motorcycle to break a new record. The market is hot for these two strokes. Anything can happen. Nori Miata, out of SoCal, originally from Japan. He's the restoration expert. Slow start. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Reserve is off. Oh, we're almost there! We're almost there! Let's, oh! We did it! We did it! Nori set the record! Where's he at? That's a new record for the H2! Holy! Look at this! Oh my gosh, guys, we're still going! We're still going! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Oh, Nori! New world record! New world record! There it is, baby! Ladies and gentlemen, we did it! Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta give them a big, a new world record, guys! $41,000 for that beautiful H2. Congratulations! How you feeling right now, Nori? Yeah, it's good on that bike for sure. Alright, let's see how the hot rod does. Take a look at the other one that he has. He used some creativity. He put a Kawasaki ZX6 front end, wheels, SV650 swing arm on the end. It's a hot rod, it's not original. Will that cost them in terms of value? We're about to find out because they're about to hit the auction block. You're gonna lose some value when you make it less original. Not bad. It's got ZX6 wheels, SV650 swing arm. Oh, we're still going. We're not done yet. I got 20 online. 21. We're going to be 21, sir. 21. 21. 21. I'm going to get here 1,000. I'm going to get here 1,000. 21,000. Sir, just give 21. Don't get mad. Just give 21. You want to get 21? 21. You be mad at the dealer, not me. 21. 21,000. Last call. 2021. 20,000 dollars on the Hey, oh, yeah. $20,000. Not what he was hoping for, but we kind of saw that one coming. Let's see how he does with the Z1B. He's also got a Z1B. Finally restored. He's hilarious. He's from Japan. He told me, these are his words, not mine. He said, and I quote, I don't want to go home with a chopstick up my rear end. He wants to make sure he gets to about 34 on that one and about 20 apiece for these. Let's see what he can do. This is Nori's final motorcycle. Look at this. Moving at a brisk pace. Whoop, I got 16 here first. You're going to be 17 or you're going to be 17. 17. Remember what happened when you waited last time? Hit 17. I ain't even get 17. I ain't even get 17. I ain't even now 18. I ain't now 18. The reserve is off. The bikes are settled. We got 17 to bid. 18 to buy. Anybody else at 18? Yeah, 17. 18. Yeah, 17. Pound on our down. 18. Pound on our last call. Anybody else at 18? Pounds on our. I ain't even get 17 or 18 or 18 and a half. Last call. Seventeen thousand dollars. Chopsticks up the rear end on that one. But the second bike with the custom bike was kind of half. Chopstick is kind of halfway to a little bit of my head. But it's four inches off. I'm so happy for you though because average out, you guys did very very well. A little surprising at the end with the C1B. Right. Seems like the market may be getting a little soft on some of that stuff. Yeah, so many of them are here. So uh, you know, every every year is a little different. But you gotta be tickled to death. Right. With the H2 
Thank you. Nobody at Makeham has ever sold one higher than that. My friend, you are a new world record holder. And what are you guys going to do to celebrate tonight? Special dinner? I don't know. We got go-kart racing going on. Go-kart racing. Awesome job, guys. Congratulations. How about it? Let's hear it for him. Nori getting it done with his buddy Mac. New world record for the H2.